My name is, and I look at you, right? Yes. Okay. Whatever. My name is Renee Passal, and I'm 34 years old. My name is Don Ness. I'm the mayor of Duluth, Minnesota. Sarah Curtis. Cheng Ki Chi. I am 81 years old. No. Oh, man. Hello, my name is Luda. Hello, my name is Anna. I am from Russia. Why wow. do I want it to cheat my age? You know, people <laughs> were people generally will want it to be younger rather than older. You know. <laughs> I'm Lauren, and I'm 14. I'm Lauren. I'm 14. My name is Vale. I like root beer and robots and my wife. So yeah. Спасибо. <laughs> I'm mayor of uh, the city of Duluth. Uh, it's a position that I've held now for the last seven and a half years. I'm a reporter anchor at WDIO TV here in Duluth. Art is my life. That's my passion. That will always be with me. If that's the case, I can make my living anything else, whatever that will put bread on my table. I work for Men as Peacemakers as the program director, which um, kind of means I do a little bit of everything there. Learning learning people's stories and telling them is, is the best part of the day. Sometimes they're fun and featurey and sometimes they're really sad. I'm a story keeper and so for um, so many of the hundreds of women that I've worked with who are survivors of violence that have trusted me with those stories. It's important that we remind ourselves that communities are collections of individual experiences and uh, that the, the collective, you know, 86,000 different stories make up this one community and define what Duluth is about and where, our, uh, where this community is headed. It really kind of gives you a perspective on, on life. So when you're feeling like, oh, this is so annoying that my dry cleaning is late. It really, you, know, you think about what other people are going through and you kind of have a bigger world perspective just because you're meeting so many people and telling their stories kind of puts your own life into perspective and makes you appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> You know, I am, I'm an introvert, I am a shy person in an extrovert's uh, world. I think I'm sensitive. I'm active, very emotional and musical. Intense, very intense. <laughs> I would say like a multitasking mom. Well, I think I give you the word synthesis, and I'm the synthesis of it, East and West. Unique. I'm an activist. <laughs> you know, I am I'm on those front lines. I am um, speaking up for injustice. You know, I might not be the loudest person because that is not who I am. I'm a joyful person. Like, I spent too many years of my life being afraid of dark things that I choose to be joyful. I would say that what favorite, you know, as little kids, you know, they always have favorites, you know, I have favorite this and I have favorite color, favorite friend, favorite everything. You have to have a favorite. Actually, pink is my favorite color. Uh, blue. Blue? Blue. If you insisted me to say the favorite color, I would say different shades of blue. I don't know, even know if it is a color, but I really like gray. To me, no color is more beautiful than the other. It's all in context. Uh, especially in politics where there is the tendency to look at things in a black or, or a white, and, and the shades of gray in between, I think, are, are fascinating. So I love purple because I love it, it's calming and it reminds me of like peace and like my grandma and all these things. But I like orange equally as much because it, it to me it's like fire. So my Indian name is Givitayashik, which means, direct quote from my wet or my name giver, means she who stirs shit up. Uh, we love to go hike, uh, and Duluth has such wonderful uh, hiking trails. We're outdoors all the time, 
you know, being out up here, how can you not be? I kind of hate the outdoors, but um, because if I want him to love it. So we play outside at daycare, they have like a playground. I like to sing, I like to dance, and I like to cook. Because of the intensity of what I do, I like my space to be low-key and drama-free, and so we will eat together. I love french fries. Probably chocolate. French beef oh, sushi. I eat Chinese food, I eat Western food. I love Chinese food, I also love many different types of Western food. I like fajita, I like a burabi, a porterhouse steak. To me, and it was just the way I was brought up with women in my family, like cooking is love. Oh my gosh, my first child. I was not a baby person before I had him. Oh, I have animals, lots of them. I have like a parrot and a tortoise. And a, <laughs> like I have all these animals, but I'd never had a baby before. I was kind of like, I loved kids, but I didn't love babies. And I was like, oh my God babies. So his mother is from Turtle Mountain, his biological mother, and she called me and said, hi, I know you don't know me, but Pat knows you, and could you come get my baby today? I was like, oh God. And so I got there and I got up to the hospital after a 20 minute breakdown because I couldn't figure out how to put a car seat in my vehicle. And I peek into the back of my vehicle and I see this little thing and you think you're gonna be all like Gaia Earth Mother around it. But my thought was, what have I done? What have I done? And I was very independent and I had my own things going on. And then after I had him, it's like, you know what? You cannot plan. My life is improvisation. Never seem to follow any plan that I do. He is the best part of my world. He's wild. He, I say my son is um, dirt and noise. It's been a wonderful thing to, to learn how to be a parent, uh, to learn from uh, these little people, and uh, we just love them uh, to pieces. I would never change one thing about him ever. I know so many things about the world that I wish I did not know. And I see so many things that, um, that I hope other people don't have to. <laughs> I used to have a lot of uh, ideas. I wanted to change the world. Now I just wanted to live a peaceful life and pain what I love to pain. I still make a lot of mistakes, just like everybody. It just You learn something new, like, oh, I should have done it that way, or I should have made that phone call, or I didn't realize that person would know the answer. So it's like every day you're learning. But I hope for a place where um, people have safety. You know, they have that kind of safety. They have that hope it's a kinder world where you don't have to plan about what happens if something bad happens to me? Like I think people ask me all the time, how can you keep doing this work? Like how can you keep hearing all of these things? And um, I have a vision of my great grandchildren because I, I knew my great grandmother, she passed when I was 15. So, and my son's four, so I've got some years, right? Before, hopefully before that happens. And, um, sitting there crocheting, having my little grandbabies next to me going, what did you used to do for work, Grandma? You mean people used to hurt people like that, Grandma? Like it's so foreign to them that they can't understand that that happened. And I know that's not gonna happen for my generation or my son's generation, but I can hope that for my great-grandchildren's generation that that could be a reality. And the uh, very beginning is that, that reporter said, and watching Chinky cheese paint is like watching Michael Jordan in 
action to listen. Well, my God, who is Michael Jordan? <laughs> Better be a nice person, you know.